So, uh, my name is Benjamin Anderson, and I am, um, I am gay, and I have been, I came out in the context of Reba Place Fellowship and uh, Living Water Community Church. Um, I'm on the, the LGBT Dialogue Steering Committee at Reba Place Fellowship. What's it been like for you personally? I mean, sexuality is so core to who we are, and to kind of have your sexuality discussed as a community, how has that felt to you? Well, initially, um, I probably came, I, I pretty much came to acceptance of my own sexuality as good um, about the same time that the community started this conversation. So it felt very affirming to me and very timely that um, I was kind of launching out in affirming my own sexuality while the community was uh, launching a conversation to discuss whether or not they could be in a affirming community as well. Um, um, and then shortly, you know, within a few months, as I started to, I was in a, in a relationship um, dating a man, and I felt a lot of pressure and that I had to um, be this perfect and ideal relationship um, for everyone to look at and say, oh, look, you know, gay relationships can be great and good. And um, also a lot of pressure that it had to be that I had to, you know, date one person and, and get married, and um, that was that was a lot of pressure in some ways. Well, I could tell myself intellectually, well, that's not the case. I don't have to. It doesn't have to be me. Like in, a, in whether this relationship um, continues on um, into a long-term commitment relationship, or if we discern that's not the way to go, doesn't have to mean anything as far as the conversation. And yet, I still felt uh, the pressure myself um, for that to be the case. Um, eventually. Um, it that I, the pressure kind of did subside a bit as people were open to talking about my relationship, and as it, it that one came to an end and it didn't continue on, and um, it was very, very positive in a lot of ways. I didn't feel any judgment because of that, and I haven't felt any judgment from anyone really for being gay, um, anybody who's in leadership or who is in a real pastoral or supportive role. And at our best, at, um, at Reba, we really do live out the call to be in closer relationship with people who differ from us in different ways. And so um, I have really felt a lot of people who find themselves in a traditional perspective really reach out uh, relational to me, relationally to me. And I am um, very close to people who have a, um, a non-affirming position as far as same-sex relationships go. And also have experienced them to be affirming of me in some way. Um, and sometimes it feels vague, and sometimes I get confused and think, how, how can I, or how can this person have a traditional perspective and they love me so well and support me as a person, um, and separate their, their views from, um, or their, their, their theological position from, um, a support of me. Um, and I think they've done a really good job of it, whether... I understand exactly how it works in their minds and how they how they function. It's another it's another question, but um, but it's been a very positive experience, and and for the most part, I well, it's been very engaging um, across lines of um, or across the spectrum of where people fall in affirming or not.